Hello and welcome to the third video of my personal war against Baby Vogue. And uh, I can do how many of these I want because Baby Vogue has done lots of video where it talks uh, bad things about KD Plasma uh, often without any reason to actually do so. So let's uh, see what we've got today. This video is called Gnome Could Do That in 5. So let's see what that is. I'm sorry, but previously... Yeah, I forgot to warn you to like the video and put a comment for YouTube algorithm to make its map. Oh yeah, this counts for this video as well, so make sure you do that. Magic. That was weird. <laughs> I told you it is gonna work, didn't I? Coco always tells the truth. Now, on matters of a less significance, Plasma will now paint the folder. See how it starts a video, video about Kitty Plasma with on matters of a less significant. It, it already starts making jokes against Kitty Plasma immediately out of the blue. Okay, okay, let's go ahead. But the same color as the accent color. It does actually paint all colors with that color, even the one that you currently see as blue, but you actually need uh, either a refresh, I think with F5 or closing and reopening Dolphin. That was at least back then when it was first implemented. This video is from last version. I think now it's fixed. We can check. I mean, if it's not, it's um, music. I've actually painted it blue myself. So it's not a bug. It's like that it's meant. If you actually go change the accent color to, I don't know, purple. Yeah, you can see that uh, the one that don't change immediately are the one with previews. If I do F5 or close and reopen Dolphin, it immediately goes away. It, it is a bug indeed, but uh, I'm sure it will be fixed. And by the way, we can set any color we want. Yep. And if we could skip the apply button, everything would be so much. Is it really going to take that much time to move your mouse to apply and click it? Like seriously? Not even that, but the fact that we do have that button actually allows now to do a transition from the old color to the new one if you want. Uh, otherwise, it wouldn't quite work. We can't do a, tran um, a transition from the old color to the new one every time you click uh, a color like here, because that could happen too, m too many times in a short period of time. And to do actually a transition from uh, one color to another, Kwin does have to take a screenshot of the whole screen and then animate that to the current state of the screen after a few seconds. So you would see like your mouse lagging, lagging and stuff. So we cannot do that. Much better. Of course, it is very obvious that GNOME developers could do that in five minutes if they wanted to. But because they are very polite, they are just giving something to Plasma to be happy about. Sure. Aside Steam Deck, of course, and actual good phone devices and not overpriced craps. I'm sorry. I mean, okay, that wasn't the worst video ever. It, it, it actually said something positive about KDE, I guess, in, in some weird way. Okay, this is uh, the secret to perfect design featuring Plasma 5.20. Because this video will go full fully weirdness. Let's start progressively from the less to the most weird thing. Sure. And that means I'll start from Dolphin and something new I just discovered. Okay. Perhaps it is old, but I just noticed. So, right click and create new folder. Yeah. And I'm gonna name the new folder videos. There is already a videos folder. So if I'll press OK, we'll get a notification that this folder exists already. Yep. I'm gonna close this. I'm not even sure if it gets away alone. No, I don't think so. And again, create new folder. And again, name it videos. So, in this moment we don't get any warning that this folder exists, and we'll only discover it after we press OK and lose so much time. But if we press space, then we get a super warning. Let's actually check right away, right away if this was fixed, because actually Baby Vogue, as I know this sounds weird, but Baby Vogue did actually file some bugs on bugs.kd.org and was reasonable, talked nice. Uh, so some of these things were actually fixed, uh, especially I think it was about creating new stuff or pro sorry, projects. Yes, you can see that it immediately tells you it already exists. And I think this was partially uh, thanks to the recruitment criticism that was uh, raised in this video. However, as always, try to raise criticism in the right way, in the right places, which is the KD Plasma Bug uh, Report page and not a video on YouTube, obviously, because uh, KD developers are not going to watch a video on the Baby Vogue account just to know what's wrong with their software. Sorry about that. Warning inside the dialog box that the naming is a bit unusual and may be unintentional. Now why we don't get a warning when matching a same name? Only a KD developer yeah, it knows. it was fixed. It was a And possibly is something to get fixed, but that issue is here for years. 
Years is a, is a bit too much because this dialogue inside of Dolphin was uh, actually added recently back then, so it wasn't inconsi- it was inconsistent after it was added, but not before. But sure, then now it's better. And we are not done just yet. So look what happens if we quickly type a two or more words file name. The dialogue will try to expand without any timeout. Giving. Uh, how does this? Uh, looks like the, looks like the warning about the spaces was actually removed altogether. Yeah, there was some discussion about this, uh, how to best implement this. I guess it just went, okay, you know what, fine. <laughs> spaces are fine. A very bad visual feedback. And that will also happen when we try to delete the filing. Okay, that's something that will also get fixed. But how could possibly be missed on a review before getting into master? <sighs> This kind of things can easily not be noticed in reviews, and if you think it should, then maybe you could help us doing reviews, because that's the whole point of beta releases. Uh, usually, uh, BabyVogue does use a beta release, so it actually gets to test the software before, uh, whilst it's still in review. So if he finds back like this, he should make uh, bug reports so that it actually gets fixed. Anyway, all those are tiny details on what's going to follow next. So from this questionably tiny arrow, we can open indicators panel. What's the tiny arrow was actually changed. Now it's a still tiny arrow, but more consistent with a plasma look. It's new here. Is this new button that opens indicator settings? And yep. we can quickly customize this panel. And now you're going to possibly think out of loud. Whoa, how much cool is that? And then I will think, how naive you can possible be. So let me open this to show you what I mean. So we have this small window and that's part of the plot. And the first choice we have is to set icon sizes. Default was small, and let's make it medium. And I'm asking you, does that seem medium to you? I think the wording was changed. Uh, again, not, not quite in response uh, to the video, but uh, now it's either small or scale with panel height, which is uh, which actually makes much more sense. There was actually a lot of discussion on whether uh, these sh settings uh, should have been there at all. Personally, I was actually against this. Uh, I asked uh, not to include this at all, but uh, people ask uh, it to get uh, to get it in KD Plasma, so it, it was added. And um, this one was uh, added later on. The actual wording was fixed. So again, uh, Baby Vogue tries uh, beta releases of KD Plasma, so the wording, that was just a matter of wording, to be honest, and it wasn't quite there yet. What's the big then? And meanwhile, that only affects panel icons, and not the inside icons, which was this option was supposed to belong by design. No, because settings is opened not just through this button, but also by right clicking and configuring, it affects everything. And obviously this one shouldn't be affected because that's the size. It shouldn't change. Like why would it change? Design. But let's set that to large and apply is always just for losing time. Yeah, because there's not actually enough space to make it even larger. But again, this was fixed with later uh, rewardings to make it Especially when sense. nothing is changed. Huge and apply and all the same. Enormous <laughs> and apply. Yeah, enormous <laughs> is a pretty funny name to give an option. And all the same. Perhaps these options would have worked if we had a 150 pixels yes, height that's panel the point. or if the you panel was in vertical position. The fact remains that's a terrible design. It was fixed. Although later if I'm on. calling this terrible, I'm not sure how I can call what's following, which is actually the main event of this feature. So let's try to modify the entries. Go, go, fight the power! I'm not even going to get bothered to describe this hell. I will only maximize the window to realize that it doesn't even fit on full screen. Now if Plasma developers expect users to actually use this mess, good luck and see you in GNOME. Okay, I get it. It's not the best menu ever, but it's not that bad. I've used it. It's not that complex. I mean, you just go into settings and let's say that you actually want to move KD Connect to be always visible. Settings entries, you search for KD Connect, oh, it's here, and shown where le relevant, you change it to always shown, and that's it. It's not the best design that we, we could get out of it, I, I actually agree with that, but it's not that bad that it's unusable, and I think that most people that actually want to customize when um, buttons uh, or system tree entries, sorry, should be visible, will use it. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, that's sorry. So, uh, but yeah, I, I agree it can improve, be improved, however, it's very, very hard to 
actually improve it because that uh, the only really way you have it is either some drag and drop stuff because you actually have more settings than it appears here as an example notification not only you can choose whether it should be shown or not but you can actually disable the notification system uh, for I don't know third party notifications as, a, as an example and that should be exposed somehow through a UI this is not the best way to expose these settings but it's uh, the easiest one and uh, uh, nobody actually had the time yet to do a significantly improved version so but it's not that bad like come on come on which has its own problems but nothing like that a fair question why i'm not opening a bug instead of doing a video oh that's a good question though yo first off uploading a video that millions of plasma users will watch it will engage more people to involve and do 100 more no d don't don't <laughs> Please don't do this because if you do a bug report, then the developers know about the bug and they will try to fix it if it's possible. But what you don't want, absolutely don't want, is that like hundreds of people telling you, please do this as soon as possible because they saw a YouTuber saying that it's needed when they hadn't even noticed it before. Having like a big amount of people to ask for a change they didn't actually need is not the correct way to approach bug reporting you just create a bug report so that the developer knows about this times the work a single girl could ever possibly do <laughs> and second i have a whole baby world world 3 to create so it is you unemployed motherfuckers you should open design issues on plasma instead of doing completely useless but still cool stuff but, but, that... <laughs> why why did you have to insult people who customize their setup what the which reminds me to tell you that this is not a good excuse not to open bug reports. I, I, I hope you realize that. Best secret that will lead to great design. Just go to KDE GitLab and put your feedback. Describe the issues and debate the current design and its flaws. No, GitLab is the wrong place. It's bug reports. Bugs.kde.org. We have a place for bug reports. It's there. It's not GitLab. But never ever propose solutions and new designs. I know you think you know better than plasma designers, but you don't. These we never say that. You you can of course propose designs, but uh, of course, if the developers think that those designs are wrong, they will be criticized by the developers. So, but of course, you can propose anything. You can join the visual design uh, group anytime. You can propose anything. Of course, if it's impossible to actually act on that design, or if we think it's not the best way forward, then we'll tell you. These guys work for years on desktop and they are very aware of the technical limitations. This is Plus true. the future plans that you aren't. What they miss, what most designers really miss, is to identify the actual usability problems. As long they identify them, they will fix them. So just help them on that. By making bug reports, not videos on YouTube. Now if you can code, everything would be better. Meanwhile, speaking of identifying problems, I believe Nick has perfectly identified the technical issue with Ubuntu snaps. So let's listen to him. Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. There are many ways. Now the Linux experiment has like three times the number of subscribers. So this is from some time ago. Ways to install packages on Linux, to install applications and software. Why are we talking about snaps? And some of these are mis- Okay, sorry, I, I, I was watching a video that was watching a video that was way too mad. That was everything for today. Uh, for me, another 15 minutes of pain, although not as bad as the last video. And uh, unless you want me to stop and unless like baby Vogue already tried to copyright strike me, I will continue to do this. So uh, if you like them, leave a comment, um, hopefully supportive. <laughs> hopefully positive but i mean do whatever and by the way thanks to everybody who actually donates to the channel this is not like the best time for me because of exams and everything but i'm trying my best so see you with the next video very soon